Hello, in this video we will look at the physiology of vitamin E. So the vitamin E is basically is known as the tocopherol and this is the fat soluble vitamin. It means it can be soluble, it can be dissolved into the fat. So let's begin to understand first of all the chemistry of vitamin E. Vitamin E is the class of different molecules with the same structure but the different um, structure on the functional group so different functional group so here is a simple chain of the alpha tocopherol which that is contain a carbon number five six seven and eight containing methyl group and hydroxyl group and methyl group and methyl group on the other hand the difference of the beta tocopherol is the carbon number seven of this ring which that is show the absence of the methyl group while on the other hand the gamma tocopherol is containing a uh, absence of methyl group on the carbon number five of this ring on the other hand the delta tocopherol is containing a uh, absence of methyl group in the carbon number seven So here you can see in this diagram to understand as well. So let's begin to understand the uh, tocopherol are present in the sunflower oils, almonds, nut, seeds and green vegetables. So this normal level uh, in our body is the 5.5 to 17 microgram per ml per milliliter and in children is 3 to 18.4 microgram per milliliter so on the basis of requirement of fat so the fat is uh, contain a uh, vitamin e so this is for example also the fish oil or etc which that is uh, our requirement in the daily basis is the 15 milligram so that is pretty much high so here is the antioxidant properties we will discuss first this is the antioxidant uh, tocopherol is the antioxidant why because it is uh, it is remove the free radical from the tissue so for example here is the vitamin c which that is contain r is the tail and this here is the head contain a hydroxyl group here and this free radical hydroxyl radical are present in the tissue for example which that is basically ex uh, donate the proton to become a water and this free radical will be occur in the uh, uh, in the tocopherol which that is resonance and stabilized radical by the again accepting of the proton and that means it is a bigger molecule but uh, so that is why free radical of the tocopherol is not harmful so remember about that and it means it is itself will be uh, free radical to become a free radical which that is a uh, non uh, uh, non-functional or non harmful harmful and not damage the tissue while the hydroxyl radical damage so here is the unsaturated fatty acid for example when consumed so it is go into the stomach and it is not digest basically and lipase enzyme is slightly digest in the um, mouth so the oil uh, in the form of bolus which that is go into the duodenum and that's become a chyme and here is the gallbladder which that is attached with the liver this gallbladder is create the uh, bile salt bile pigment colic acid as well as the other bile um, pigment other bile product which that is digest the uh, bile uh, due to the production of the lipase enzyme from the pancreas which that is digest the uh, lipids on the other hand here is the a droplet of uh, oil which that is emulsified with the salt so it means the salt will be mixed partially and emulsion will be uh, again separate but it is the making of droplets so this is emulsion formation and the lipase enzyme produced from the pancreas this uh, um, uh, lipase enzyme is known as the uh, pancreatic lipase which that is further digest the uh, fat and remove or separate the vitamin E 
so here i am drawing the digestive system which that's contain a duodenum so that uh, so that duodenum basically is contain a uh, uh, vitamin e this vitamin e is blue color show show and the figure shows in the figure so here is go into the lumen and this become a my cells my cell contain a vitamin e this vitamin e are present in the my cell of the lipids which that is known as the chylomicron when go into the blood so this basically is go into the blood circulatory system first of all will go into the lymphatic system and then go into the circulatory system so remember about that and here is the uh, low density lipoprotein which that is accept the my cells to, to become a, um, a very low density lipoprotein vldl and this lipoprotein which that is go into the liver by the scavenger receptor or ldl receptor so here is the uh, go into the liver and that is donate the um, 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 low density lipoprotein with containing the my cell or lipoprotein containing a vitamin E. This vitamin E go into the hepatocyte. So he, this is the hepatocytes and it means the healthy hepatocyte of the liver basically is the tocopherol are present in the low density lipoprotein and this donate to the tocopherol, tocopherol transporter protein. After the donation it means it is also inhibit the reactive ox oxygen species in the liver as well as in the blood. So very low density lipoprotein which that is accept from the blood circulatory system in the liver to accept by the tocopherol transporter protein. And this exception of the very low density lipoprotein with the tocopherol and go into the uh, space of this. Space of this is here which that is showing in the figure. Uh, if, you, if you remember about the physiology, uh, um, uh, anatomy of the liver. So here is the very low density lipoprotein containing tocopherol which that is entered into the kupfer cell and the kupfer cell is inactivated. Why? Because the free radical will be accepted by the vitamin E and it means it will remain the inactive due to the less inflammation or not inflammation while the inactive parasite also so this is the inactive parasite and this uh, tocopherol containing very low density lipoprotein uh, will uh, transport the another tissue into another um, tissue for the removing of the free radical due to the oxidative stress so the oxidative stress remover is the remover uh, of the vitamin is the vitamin e so here is the for example that we will discuss about the unhealthy liver or fatty liver which contain a fat so that uh, tocopherol will not bind with the tocopherol transporter protein and it means it will be uh, absorbed because the fat soluble vitamin so this absorb and sequestered vitamin E into the fat and it will dissolve into the into the fat will be inhibit the activity of tocopherol transporter protein and after the inhibition of the tocopherol uh, transporter protein it means the very low density lipoprotein will be empty due to the empty of the tocopherol and a tocopherol will be empty it means will go into the sinusoid here is the sinusoid inside of the liver so the sinusoid will be um, uh, contain very low density lipoprotein empty of the uh, tocopherol which that is lead to reactive oxygen species increase due to the tocopherol transporter protein inhibit inhibition so this mean it means the the uh, inflammation will be occur and the free radical will be cause the inflamed parasite parasite as well as the uh, other uh, kupfer cell to recruit the lymphocytes for uh, where the inflammation so the inflammatory cytokines will be produced so the soluble into the fat so the fat consumption important for vitamin absorption into the blood system so important thing is that the fat is the important for the absorption of the uh, absorption of the vitamin e so remember about this and here we will discuss if the summary so the chylomicron enter into the blood circulatory system to become a low density lipoprotein and the chylomicron remnant which that is go into the high density lipoprotein and 
low density lipoprotein to the liver to the become a alpha very low density lipoprotein uh, tocopherol containing and low density lipoprotein and free fatty acid and glycerol which that is transport the vitamin into the tissue and IDL to convert uh, LDL.